Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. And it's funny, today is our parish feast day. When you'd like to do something to mark that. Maybe not today, but there will be no, no gatherings to mark our parish feast day. Who would have thought last year, and as that year came to an end, that we'd be wearing masks, telling you not to sing, having no books in the pews, and other things that have been lost. Who would have thought, what a year? So we're going to have a little, uh, with Gerard's help, a little ceremony to begin my homily in a few minutes, in any case, whatever. But as we celebrate Mary, Mother God, let us all call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, who intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And we pray, O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary, bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her, Mary, through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told to them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for they, for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days had been completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given to him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, seriously, I was asked by a local bakery if they made me a cake that had 2020 written on it, would I come over and do an exorcism? I kid you not. I had to look hard to find a 2020 calendar. My staff threw them all away. So here's what everybody wants me to do. Just rip up 2020 and we'll pretend it didn't happen. This guy. <laughs> and he spoke to us. And we have 2021 here and lots of them to take home. What happened? Like, some of us may not be here 10 years from now. But the grandchildren say to us, why was that year such a bad year? Like, I remember 1968. I remember my father saying as the ball fell in New York City that it's a good thing 68 was coming to an end. I never said that again until today. That was a Tet Offensive. Kennedy got shot in June, Martin Luther King in April, the Democratic Convention in, in August. It was just a bad year. But this has been worse because three things came together at the worst possible, that they all came together at the same time. I mean, elections are always powerful events, but this one was special. This one, this one exposed the already existing divides in America. And those divides are very wide. Most people are on one side or the other, but not both. So that was going to be a bad year no matter what. Nobody here a year ago today knew who George Floyd was, but every American does now. And the racial tension, especially in my beloved city of Philadelphia, where they're still boarded up on Market and Chestnut. That, that, I mean, racism is always a powerful topic and a difficult topic. You put that into the election, now, that, now that the mix is getting pretty potent. Then you throw the pandemic in, which changed life and ended the life of, of, ended the life of many and changed the life of all. You put all three of those things together and it is a very potent problem. Especially here in America. Well, we don't like being told what to do. We're a powerful country. We do what we want to do. And what, now they're saying, you better wear the mask. Shut up and just wear the mask. And we, we do not adapt to that easily. Some still won't. But what's the core of the Christian life? That it's all about the death and resurrection. That's what Easter Sunday is about. There's always Good Friday before there's Easter Sunday. And it'll appear on this calendar come true. And could it be that if we are willing to look more deeply from a spiritual point of view, we will see that there are opportunities that maybe already happened. Maybe we took, maybe we didn't. Could it be that it took the suffering of 2020 to teach us patience? Everybody comes into confession, I need more patience. Everybody says the same thing. And we learned that, well, maybe my place I like to work out is not going to be open until three or four more days still. And I've had to learn to bite my tongue. And find some other way to get a little bit of exercise. My favorite restaurant, maybe they're not going to be able to see me. But I've had to learn patience. Kids in school had to learn to sacrifice. There wasn't any problem. Big event. Gone. And they had to learn to do it all. But maybe there's something. Maybe that's where we grow. 
it's through the pain that we got the gain. If we're willing to look more deeply and see that, to be very honest with you, it's true right here. Okay, we talked about doing masses, streamlining masses, two or three years ago. Ask sister, she'll tell you. Sit right here. Hey, I'm not a big person into technology. We didn't have Wi-Fi in this building. But, you know, hundreds of people watch these talks every week. Not all of them are local people. If I was willing to see, Edwards, get off your duff, that this, this was something that's probably going to continue. We never did those outreach programs to the LGBT community or the girls who had abortions who don't feel welcome in church or the divorced and remarried who have two or three marriages and don't know what to do. We never had those before. We had 3,000 views in three nights. We never did that before. But this made us look differently. We never had an outdoor mass before. It wasn't allowed. Most of the people, not everybody, most of the people loved those outdoor masses. And it brought something to the surface. You know, you know as well as I do if you're an adult, that many people say, well, I'll just go get married at McDade Park. I don't need any of this stuff. We don't allow that. But we might. The bishop, to whom I have the highest respect, it, you know, is wondering, what, what, what do we do for those young people who say, I don't need church, I just go get married at the park or the beach? Punta Cana, the Caribbean, the DR. You know, they're leaving us by the thousands and getting married elsewhere. I'm not saying what the bishop's going to do, that's up to him. And another bishop might say something different. But we're thinking about things we never thought about before. And this year forced us to do that. And maybe that's where the cross and all the pain we've endured this year, with a couple hundred thousand dead. Vietnam, we lost 58,000. We lost that in five times that in one year. Maybe there's been growth that we didn't always see, and maybe we didn't take advantage of it. I don't know. All I know is that this calendar has a lot of blank pages. A lot of blank pages. Pray God all of us will still be standing here <laughs> next December. But what pay, everybody gets a blank calendar. And what you write on each of those days will be up to you. I like to think we like to find every day, how is God working in my life this day? And write that in that day's little blank, little square. How has God worked in my life today? It's a new year. Thank God it's a new year. How will we find his presence every single day? Let us stand, my friends, and we'll profess our faith in Almighty God. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all ages, God by God, light from light, true God by true God, begotten in that name, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. Trust men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who is incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and crucified, suffered death in his burial, rose again in the third day. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. To come again in glory to judge the living of the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is enjoyed and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. But I need some to pray for all my God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, who shows to the church and the world a tender devotion to Mary, the mother of God, the spouse of Joseph, a woman of faith and charity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace among nations and peoples, for refugees and exiles, and those separated 
from their families and homes. We praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have not heard the good news of salvation, and for those who have drifted away from the practice of their faith, we praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our military, police, firefighters, first responders, healthcare workers, and all those serving in dangerous professions, that the Holy Spirit will guide, direct, and protect them at all times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eventual eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Ruth Sweet, for whom this Mass is being offered, that they may live eternally with Christ, their Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us send the petitions by praying the vision prayer. Jesus, we are your people. We praise you as Savior and Lord. Deepen our commitment to you, your church, and each other. Let us all share more actively in spreading the good news of God and Christ among us. Help us reach out to those who have not yet experienced the joy of participating in parish life. Inspire us to seek justice and peace for all members of our parish family and beyond. Assist us in living your gospel, compassion, and love in service to those in need. Mindful of our many blessings, we are especially grateful for your gift to our parish family, family dedicated to Mary, Mother of God, Spouse Joseph, and our beloved saints, Andy, Vincent, Stanislav, Stephen. Lord, send us your spirit. Make us live as we have never been. Let us celebrate together and place our hope in you.
In a similar way, also granted with the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. Blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, Lord. Grant, we pray that it leads us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever courage of Mary, mother of your son, mother of the church, and our patron. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. May God bless us and all of our family. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks to God. Those wishing to receive, 